Tesla has mysteriously removed the Model Y standard range, as in the most popular Model Y in the United States. Why? What's going on? Why has it removed this vehicle from its website? Well, I think the answer is abundantly clear. I don't think the standard range of Tesla Model Y is coming back anytime soon. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Just want to say that real close to the microphone to say you're awesome. Hope you've had an amazing day. And yes, I'm disappointed to, to see the Model Y being removed. But the reason I'm disappointed is because I don't think it's coming back anytime soon. So if you've missed out on buying it, well, to be fair, you kind of deserve to miss out. It has been available for a long time. The tax incentives have been available for a long time. That means it's cost 40,000 US dollars for quite a long time. And like I said, I don't think it's coming back any time soon. It probably won't come back, in my opinion, until Juniper. What's Juniper? It's the new version of the Model Y. Basically, apply the updates of the Model 3 to the Model Y. That's the new Model Y. There might be some other changes as well. I think it's going to have a longer range. Most likely, it'll get the new 4680 battery cells with better energy density, giving it more range. But anyhow, getting back to that in a minute, what am I talking about here? Okay, the standard range Tesla Model Y costs, it was around 47,500 US dollars in the United States. Now, of course, that model did qualify for the $7,500 tax credit because those batteries are made in the US, making it for most people around a $40,000 proposition. Very good value car. Is the best selling vehicle in the US. A electric vehicle, of course, I'm referring to. And it's been removed from Tesla's US website. So if you want to go on and buy that standard range, you can't anymore. Now, the cheapest version of the Model Y you can get is around 50,000 US dollars. That's the long range version. It's actually a pretty good car, the long range version. It's got a lot of power. It's got dual motors. Uh, it'll do pretty much everything you need. It's, it's a really good vehicle. To be honest, I probably would have bought the standard range version if I was going to buy one of those models. That's the one I would have gone for. But yeah, like I said, it's been removed. So why exactly has Tesla removed it? Well, the reason I believe personally is that Tesla doesn't have enough 4680 cells. Uh, it's got the Cybertruck. It's got more than 2 million pre-orders. I've mentioned this numerous times. Um, those are legit orders. Will they all come through? Of course not, but they'll get a lot of them. I'd say about half of those orders will follow, probably follow through as long as the Cybertruck is not stupendously expensive, which I don't believe it will be, probably priced between seventy dollars to $80,000 for the dual motor version and the tri-motor version as well. Probably seventy dollars for the dual motor, about eighty dollars for the tri-motor. That's what people are speculating on. Uh, inside information basically from people who have been able to put an order through and get delivery within the next month. Anyhow, it doesn't have enough 4680 cells. They have worked on improving the energy density of the cells for the Cybertruck and Cybertruck is taking priority. So there's no reason for Tesla to um, have the Model Y take priority because of course, right now, the Cybertruck is going to be Tesla's most important vehicle over the next 12 months. Ramping up production is difficult. Very, very difficult to ramp production of the Cybertruck. Very unusual vehicle. Really, yeah, it's very different to anything else Tesla or anyone else has made for that, for that matter. I mean, what else has been made out of stainless steel? We haven't seen a real revolutionary pickup truck design ever. Uh, El Camino sort of is like the Cybertruck, but it's not revolutionary really. It's just like a whole Newt, a Ford Falcon Newt. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about you know Australian uh, basically pickup trucks. There's a common vehicle in Australia. So there's nothing really quite like the Cybertruck. And Tesla is trying to make enough Cybertrucks to meet, not demand, maybe meet 1% of demand with all the 4680 cells but it needs all the batteries it can get for the Cybertruck. And I believe that's the likely reason why the Model Y has been canceled or removed from Tesla's website. If you've already placed an order, what does that mean? Well, I'm, I believe you'll still get your car. I don't think Tesla is canceling current orders. They're gonna deliver the current orders from what I can tell. Simply, you can't order it. So does this mean that Tesla is focusing all of its efforts at Gigafactory Texas for the start of production of the Cybertruck? Well, of course, that's very possible. The other thing that's worth considering is Tesla is focusing on the Model 2. That Model 2 will be built at the factory in Texas first before it's later built at the Gigafactory in Mexico, which I believe will be even bigger than the Gigafactory in Texas. However, 
the 4680 cells were going to the Model Y will now be likely going to the Cybertruck for testing and for production purposes. So to give you an idea on the numbers Tesla were doing, they were making around 5,000 Model Ys per week from the Gigafactory in Texas. That, of course, equals 250,000 vehicles per year. Tesla would need about twice as many battery cells for the average Cybertruck battery. So that's about 125,000 Cybertrucks per year. However, Tesla are ramping production of the 4680. So by the time I'm going to guess 12 months from now, they might have double that number. So that might make them capable of doing around 250,000 Cybertrucks per year within about 12 months time using 4680 cells. However, Tesla have mentioned uh, they're in their master plan part, whatever it was, the, the most recent master plan, that they're going to possibly use lithium ion phosphate cells in the Cybertruck. I believe a base model version will eventually emerge, a cheaper version with LFP cells, but that may be some time away. And it may not qualify for the EV incentives in the US because the cells are actually made by CATL in China. Then they're sent to North America. In theory, the cells, individual cells would be sent. Tesla would do the packaging, the wiring, everything else uh, to try and make them more made in America, which would, of course, make them more made in America. But whether or not they qualify by the time that actually happens, that's a different question. So Tesla does want to apparently build its own factory in the United States making LFP cells. It's worth also pointing out Goshon High Tech. People are forgetting this contract. It's speculated because we've seen the documents. Someone signed an agreement with Goshon High Tech within the past 12 months for a mammoth amount of LFP cells. Goshon High Tech are building two mega battery factories producing LFP cells in the United States. They have approval for both of them, I believe. Goshon High Tech make high energy density LFP cells. Could Tesla have been the manufacturer who agreed to that contract with Goshine High Tech? Possibly, because it was a massive order. I think it's about 100 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. It's unlikely that Volkswagen, who owned 25% of the company, were the company that made that order. Because for Volkswagen to commit to that number of batteries, it's not something they've done before. So it's fairly unlikely. So it's possible Tesla plans to use Goshen High Tech's batteries once they've built their factory in the US and ramp production. That'll take a couple of years, though, to put into Cybertrucks. That's what I think will happen, but I don't know for sure. The Model Y all-wheel drive had an estimated EPA range of 280 miles, and it was able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in five seconds top out speed at 135 miles per hour. Now, I, I really think it was a great bargain. So congratulations to all of you who are able to get one for $47,000 and then apply the tax credit. Some places you get even more credits, but anyway, $40,000 US uh, was about the average price I think most people were getting it for, which is an amazing deal. A bit, bit disappointing to see that it's no longer available. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think I got it right on these these speculations. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.